YouTube kick. Pearl Davis talks about some very interesting things. Let's get right into it. <laughs> get right into it. You saw the title. That women are better at. And this didn't come out of malicious intent. This didn't come out of trying to put women down or whatever. Genuinely, I was... Then what's the point of the video? Listen, I'm a man, okay? But I already know where this is going, obviously. But I just want to say that. Like, what is the point of making the video if the point wasn't to put women down? Are you already stating stuff that most people already know? And if you are, then why do you make this video? You just want to stay on this landing spot of... Like you, so like you're saying that you can un we can understand that. Let me just look at the just looking thing. at some numbers. I'm like, what are women better at? Well, the premise is women are more caring and nurturing. Well, if so, why are we more likely to kill infants and elders? Wouldn't the most caring and nurturing gender? So then I was like, okay, I guess that number doesn't Here's make. The, also the thing. I like it. Once again, I know this, she said this isn't to put the women down, but I don't see the purpose of the video. But I also want to say this is like you were really literally looking all this stuff up or you had all this stuff in your head to put up. It's like any chance you get, you're going to find some way to say that I am the better woman of the women. You call yourself mid, you call yourself a five, you you pretty much insult yourself. You say, I mean, you look, you say that you couldn't get him. I mean, you say that you can't get a high value man. But, so what is the point, Pearly? You're just trying to say I might not be a five. I mean, I might not be a 10, but. I'm better than most women just because I see this stuff. Pearl, that's not going to help. And like, what demographic are you going to? Because those men don't care what you really got to say, to be honest. I'm just being honest. As a man, it's like, I don't I don't look at Pearl and go, yeah, she's the epitome of what I want to hear to show what manhood is. I, she don't know what it's like to be a man. And she's really just talking out her butt cheeks because she ain't got a man. You know, so like, where are you getting all this information from? You're just looking it up just to say it. I just, and when you, she had the chance to defend people, and defend not even men in general, but also black people. She didn't even take that chance. Listen, I'm not calling her racist or anything like that, but it just shows you, like, when push comes to shove and she gets pushed into that corner, she ain't got no backbone. All she cares about is making money and being famous. Makes sense. So then, then I start asking myself, what about teaching? Women are better teachers. Turns out we have ruined the education system. We can, two women cannot teach as effectively as one man okay if you want to say that fine but you really just said that based off of nothing i mean nothing at all okay that was just a really bold statement just to say that women have ruined the entire public education system when i don't think it's women that ruined it i think it was all of us society as a whole even including myself like what we like what we had put into the public um systems and said that we need to be taught we, we all contributed to that in some way. You know, when I was growing up and I was in the public education system, you don't, you, there should have been a time, even when I got older and got out of high school, that I should have been in my city pushing for, hey, we need more finance classes. We need to be teaching the kids that. We need to be teaching the kids this. No, all I did was get out of school and complain. I didn't help contribute to that. So, Pearl, how you help contribute to that? I'm not trying to say that it doesn't matter. Some people aren't going to listen to me. I understand that. Money does rule the world. But it's not like I was going to council meetings and doing my part. So what are you doing to help, Pearl, to just say the public system failed because of just women? I'm just saying, like, I mean, there's got to be some accountability we all got to take. Okay, we're not better teachers. All right. Chefs, we're the cooks, right? We're, women are better cooks. Wrong. All the top Michelin chefs are men then i was like okay what about dumb argument what about aren't there more female doctors no 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 if you look at the top doctors in like surgery and all the advancements in the field it's all run by men um men well, <laughs> I, I get what you're saying but just because the people the top men are the ones who are the top chefs and the top men are the top surgeons and stuff like that. You're many pretty much just saying, okay, are there going to be fields that some men are better than, or they're going to be at the top. There's going to be men. Of course there is. I just don't equate that to necessarily being better than women. I just see that as showing us that, okay, you know, there's just some things that men will be better at. And there's some things that women can help with, right? If this always is going to go into a uh, argument of who is better man or woman, <sighs> 
it's just crazy to think that because there's going to be certain attributes that men have. So it's going to seem that we always are at the top in these kind of things. But it's almost like you're saying women are almost useless. And I would say that's not true. Women are needed. We do need children in this life. They do help with producing. They do happen to be nurturing and all this kind of stuff. They didn't necessarily have to be the best in every category to every second. And I still think that women are better nurturers than men in most cases. Right. But to, even to me, it's not like I think, oh, man, I'm better than I'm better than my wife at a lot of things but i don't think of my wife as like inferior to me i don't think she's inferior to me i just don't i want to say more but let's get to you then i was like well aren't women out earning men in cities um yes but it's usually in industries that are subsidized or by beauty and men still pay 80% of the taxes 70 to 80% of the taxes so then i'm thinking all right all right, okay, women well. have to be better at something. Why do okay, they? Okay, I guess we're not more nurturing. Why do they need to? We're better parents, right? We have to be better parents. Well, <laughs> it looks like single mother homes are the root of basically everything wrong with society. They're more likely to go to homeless. The kids are more likely to be homeless. Mental institution, I mean, you name it. We suck at raising kids by ourselves. And what I realized... Every single parent household, if there's a single single parent household, it's going to do worse than a two-parent household. Let's just be clear about that. As women can only be, shoot, sorry guys, the best version of ourselves under the authority of a guy. Whether if it's at work, it's in a company they built. If it's at home, it's under the authority of male headship of the household. If it's in society, well, it's really only under guys' authority. So I've sort of concluded that men are just superior beings. I don't say this to be mean. I don't like say it. every single man. But I will say that I can't think of one thing that women are better at that numbers back up. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just an old sexist. So let me know in the comments. Fire started. Like the video, guys. I'll talk to you. This is what you. Right. This is what you call a social media um, fire starter, arsonist. They just start fires and then have us put it out in the comment section. That just gets you gets you views and gets people to look at you. I will say this though. As far as men being superior, listen, men men and women aren't equal. Society is built on the backs of men. It's, it's always going to be that way. But to me, it's not that w men. Just because men built society and a lot of the stuff runs off of the men's back. To me, it doesn't mean that women are just this, this thing to be part of our lives. I think having a woman in your life and having women around is one of the greatest things ever. Listen, you see me. Right here. I'm always up here. I'm always making these videos. I'm always doing these things. Am I am I better at working out stuff uh, than my wife? Yes. Can I work on stuff here at the house so she can? Yes. Do I know more than my wife? Yes. And just intellectually, am I above her? Yes. But I want to say this, man. My wife is one of the greatest support systems I've ever had in my life by far. When I feel down or I'm not feeling myself or I feel like I can't do it or I can't keep going, my wife has always been there to encourage me, you know? Obviously, we're in a marriage, so we have our uh, disagreements and we've had our problems. But I can't say that. I can't, one thing I can't never say about my wife is that she doesn't support me in dang near anything I asked her to do. When I, when, you know, when she found out about me and what can I change, she's always supported me making videos. She's always supported me when I wanted to, you know, when I was talking about doing music, even though I just do that for fun. She's always like, you know, I love your song. And she was playing my songs to her friends, even though I'm not trying to be a rapper or anything. My wife has always supported me when it comes to any of this stuff. If I decide I want to go do this one thing, I say, baby, I want to go do a, I want to go be a basket weaver. My wife would be like, okay, you know, I'm going to be here to support you. And she would work. My wife is a great support system. And that's the great love that we have. And I think that's what women can be for men because it is something else to always come home to an empty house. It is something to work and get to the top of the CEO, be the top doctor or be the top surgeon or be whatever and get to the very top of all those things. And you're all alone. Nobody really. I mean, the people who support you, they do because you're making the money. But you, it's nice to come home to a wife. It's nice to come home to somebody who's like, hey, how's your day going? And you can be honest and open with them. I think women are such a great support system. And even when they're not in the marriage, 
a great boss like me, you know, I'm not a great boss. I'm saying like if I, if I was a great boss, you know, it would be, it would mean a lot to me. And I know this is going to sound somewhat demeaning, but I, I'm really not trying to do that. Having a great secretary who's a woman is, is so important. It is a different perspective. It is a different light. But having a woman as a secretary who can help run your business and all this stuff is amazing. I've had women help me in my life that weren't my wife. And, dude, it gets you so far because women can be that support system. And there are going to be women CEOs. There are going to be women who are in the construction. There are going to be great women who are great teachers. It's just wild that you're looking at these one things and going, well, are they a great teacher? Nope. A man can teach more effectively. So what? That doesn't mean there's not great teachers who are women. That's just crazy. Just because you get a small percentage of men that happen to be great at what they do doesn't mean that women are inferior. And I also want to say this before I shut up. <laughs> Listen, that that those men that you're talking about that are top chefs or the top of this, top of that, those are the small percentage of men. Most of us men are average, you know, including myself. We're not at the top of nothing. OK, so the way you talk about men is if you're talking about the top, the tippity top men, the ones who are doing all the building and instructing and all that kind of stuff. And then saying, ah, but, you know, there's no really no women at the top. So there's plenty of women who still do good work. There's plenty of women who do good jobs. There's women who help now help build society in other ways. Women are a part of that. Right. And so I would never go to as far as to say men or women are equal, but I wouldn't go to as far as to say that it really matters that men are at the top. I just don't take it to the point where it's just like, I don't really want to be, be little women because they weren't born a man or they don't have that skill set or anything like that. It doesn't really matter, man. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, now, obviously people will use this when women talk down on men and okay, fine. We can, then we can have that discussion and be like, well, men are at the top of most things. I, we could never say that a woman's better than a man. You can't say that, but can you say a man's better than women? The tippity tops. I wouldn't say better. I would just say we're not equal. We're just better. We're better skilled in some areas than other women are. But I, I just don't see it as a superior because uh, that means women are inferior. But I'm just talking in circles, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. If y'all feel like this is a real good discussion, I'll talk about it again. But I'm not trying to go too long here. Goodbye.